In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to complete step 4 of the Google plan, which is to map categories. However, this is optional. Now, at the top of the page, there are two search filters you can use. You can search for mapped or unmapped categories. And you can filter categories by suppliers. You can search for supplier categories. You can use this filter to assign a Google category to all categories that are present below. I will show you examples on how to use these features later. So, these are the supplier categories. If you want these categories to go under your Google Store category, then select your Google category from this dropdown. This is called mapping. If you want the supplier categories to be under your store category, then you can enter your store category one by one. You only have to do this once. After you map all the categories, you are set. Now I will show you these features. Let's say I want to see categories that are only for mega goods. Then it will show me all categories that are for mega goods. Let's say I want to see unmapped categories only. Then it will display all unmapped categories. Now, let's use this search filter. Let's say that I want to search for perfume categories in all suppliers. Then it will show me all suppliers that have the keyword perfume in their category. If you want to apply one store category to all these supplier categories, you can use this feature. Here is an example. As you see, all the supplier categories are under the category arms and sleeves. This is a subcategory I have selected using this feature. This is the main category. And these are the subcategories. You can also change this individually. Now, if your store has subcategories under a main category, then they will appear after you select the main category. Such as this. If you want to map items individually, you can click on one of these links. Then you can select your store category. If you click on the item number, you will be taken to the item page. If you click on the supplier's name, then you will be taken to the supplier page. That's all you need to know. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for future tutorial videos.